you starting? Yes, yes. Welcome to the... Uh, what are we doing again? Oh yeah, uh, we're going to Comic-Con. Welcome to the Comic-Con <laughs> vlog. Oh, he's, yeah. he's remembering, he knows what he's doing. I know what I'm doing, I'm professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. So, yeah. yeah. Starting with a road trip, off to pick up our friends, uh, Il Nege and Cassie. Mm -hmm. And we're going to drive all the way down to San Diego. San Diego! From uh, Los Angeles, so not, not too big a drive, it's what, three hours? Yeah, something like that. See, that's for that's like a journey that in England I would take a weekend off for, but that's just like down to the down to the shops in America. I've got kind of used to just like, oh yeah, no, just twelve hours in the car. That's fine. I can do it in the morning. <laughs> so, whole oh, yeah. different scale out here, out in the desert. Yeah. Ooh, someone's changing lanes about me. <laughs> Going on a highway. Uh, out of Simi Valley. Woo! A remarkably unremarkable town. Well, no. Well, might actually get some decent shots using the camera in this up the like the mountains and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not a net, it's not a terrible area. I mean, it's these, desert. Yeah, we're surrounded by really picturesque mountains, but we're always just driving through them, so we don't get a chance to take any pictures or anything. So. Mm -hmm. How do I look? Do I look heroic? Um, yes. Excellent. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> I didn't know how to add to that. <laughs> mm. We're good at this. We're going to this is going to be a great vlog. Oh gosh, yeah. Ca the camera's yelling at me. What's it saying? Pa camera is panning too fast. <laughs> Don't tell her how to film camera, you mansplaining son of a bitch. <laughs> Lovely desert brown. It is. It's beautiful. Watch out. Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Thanks, Waze. Thank it's, you. Uh, it's, it's beautiful in a very sort of dead sort of way like there's you can see there's like no life out there but it's sort of in a sort of barren way it's got a sort of stark beauty to it it's it's nice when it's like the two weeks of rain because then it does actually yeah. become green Everything for like two weeks vibrant green for then slowly fades back to brown <laughs> yeah. as you can tell it is summer because everything looks dead except for you know the random like trees that are always green no matter what the ones that the, the rich people feed water all the time too yeah. Well, or just like pine trees and like any of those trees that don't change. We have pine trees. Well, not pine trees. There, there are trees that like stay green no matter what. Okay. I don't know what the term is. Evergreen. The, yes. <laughs> that. I may, I may, I may cut out the us arguing over trees, but I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is content your audience would oh, super yeah, appreciate. Oh, yeah. Hello, my beautiful watchers, and welcome to an argument about trees. You're an argument about trees. I'm saying. Oh. Uh, Stop sassing me when I'm driving. No. No. Well, okay then. You win this round. Aha! The camera's still yelling at me. <laughs> Stop panning so fast then. I'm... <laughs> we are on the 5 freeway heading south on our way to San Diego, looking yeah. for a rest stop. Yeah. First bathroom break. I did longer than I expected to. Good job. Good you job. did it. We're so yeah. proud of you. Uh, there's no light. We're in there darkness. Isn't a light. Hello. Cassie and Heather. Hello. Wait, Wait. until it got dark Wait. to vlog was a terrible Wait. idea. Wait. Make sure Wait. Ah. Aha! So right. too bright. Do you call this story the tale of the haunted pool? Are you, like, you doing some Midnight Society action back there? Oh god, that's terrifying. <laughs> it's just... I don't know. It's like the low light effects of yeah. that thing. Um, so switch this off so I die. No parents. Oh, I did but lots of money. Like, <laughs> is this what vlogging is? This is this is exactly you're nailing it, man. This is, this is some A plus A plus quality content. Hey everybody, so I said I'd make a video, and so I'm making the video. Um, I don't have anything else to talk about. <laughs> Let's go film a body in a forest. Check out my Minecraft castle. It's not <laughs> very impressive. <laughs> I'm in a bad castle. But I made it. That makes it special. Buy the merch. It's got a panda on it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to solder a circuit. I'm gonna hold the camera and also be soldering at the same time because I don't own a tripod. <laughs> Have you noticed that all like technical how-to videos are narrated by twelve-year-old boys? Yeah. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to take the steel wool and you want to chew on the steel wool. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 my favorite how-to videos are the Bleeding means it's working. No, my favorite how-to videos are the ones where it's like, and uh, you want to do this thing, you want to get your solder iron. I, I didn't have an extra set of hands on, so I didn't get any footage of it, but this is how it should look after you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm watching you. That's literally like, because I've been filming as I've been modifying the guitar, and that's going to be a lot of what it looks like. Cause, <laughs> because sometimes it was just like, I don't feel like filming myself every time I put oil on the neck. 
or some, or sometimes like work the shaft with the oil comes off. Don't make my guitar project gross. It's already very homo. Denny's. Whoa, that's the coolest looking Denny's. Uh, oh, yeah. Denny's. I thought you said something else just now. Camera that. It's pretty cool. That's like the. That's not a. That's not a terrible. That's not a terrible. That's like the Messiah of Denny's. It's waiting to focus. Yeah, we just see a great Denny's. I intensely do, do not. I, but... Do I want to have like an intense bowel movement before or after Comic Con? Do they still have the <laughs> Hobbit breakfast? Bloom <laughs> <laughs> is really happy because there's a really friendly cat here. I have a new friend. Oh, I don't know what its name or gender is, so I'm just gonna call it. I mean, at this, at this hello, point, cat. We're sitting in the light. Hello. Oh, wait, it doesn't have a collar, but it's an outside it's cat. It's very friendly. Okay. Very sweet, very loud when it purrs. So, yeah. It might be a stray cat, because if it doesn't have a collar and it's an outside cat. Well, then it's coming home with Cassie, then, because she is this close to adopting it already. It's mine. Mystery of the random cat at the Airbnb continues. So, like, I don't want to give it a name, but Can we give this place, like, a 10 out of 10 just for cat? Sarah's using Simi. Just for cat service. Yeah, this wasn't even part of the deal. We just found a cat. Just I want this cat. We're doing, doing more obnoxious vlogging. This is the first day. It's Thursday. First full day here. Crossing the bridge. Of come on, come on. Yeah, crossing the big old bridge thing. So yeah, we have no idea where we're going or what we're doing or who we are anymore. So. Woo! We're gonna. We were told to head to Hall H, so I hope that's where we're going. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> come on, come on, yo! Cassie's the only one who bothered cosplaying today. She's I care too much, I'm sorry. We want to sort of just following the crowd at this point. Uh, one, and then we'll go check in, and then we'll go to the Look, seems like, I think this is the way to go. Find out shortly, I guess. I think he's, I, there was definitely something about escalators in his instructions. Yeah, no, we were going the wrong way. We've learned a valuable lesson about not just joining the first line you see and following it. I don't care for it. I mean, I'm, I'm not against the concept, but I don't like unnecessary escalators. Yeah. I so I don't know what was in Hall H, but we've given up trying to get to it. <laughs> I'm just trying to get out to this. Is, there are a lot of scoops of Holy cosplays. I'm very pleased with them. How does tallness equal sense of direction? I feel it's an unfair thing burden to put on me. That is correct. It has no sense of direction. Yeah. I got lost in Bevington once. I lived there for 30 years. I'm very lost already. Well, the dragon boards are petite. How are you doing, man? It's okay. How are you? Stop my soul! Yeah. Splendid. I shall use it for evil. That's, uh, that's totally what I'm going to look like tomorrow when I'm cosplaying. It's an almost exact replica of my costume. I don't want to brag anything. But, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think, I'm Batman. I think just due to the amount of walking, it's not a convention for cosplay. Probably super cut to that just to show how funny my statement was. <laughs> Silver capes and being a lady. 
I mean, yeah, good qualities. Shame they just did nothing with her in two movies. Do you know? Oh yeah, <laughs> I was wondering where it was. Oh man. I love the weirwood tree. It looks so good. I mean, this can't really be the Battle of Winterfell because I can see it. Yeah. That's fair. It's much more well lit. I like the wall over here with uh, Dead for Syrian. Mm -hmm. Zombie dragons. They're gonna mess your day up. <laughs> oh, look at John. There he is. I do appreciate like, the little like red Legos and then the lights underneath it to make it look like fire. I yeah. like, I like this is cheating though, because I love those Lego trees, they're just one single piece. Back in, back in my day, oh you had to, back in my day, you had to make your own trees yeah. out of little bits of Lego, you couldn't yeah. just yeah. stick them to them. I like how back in my day became, I'm going to do an impression of Sean Bean. Well, that, it's just general northerner, whenever I'm being a grumpy old man, I become northern. Where's the big motherfucker, the one who eats everybody? The big, like... What is going on over here? Try it on. Masks. Okay. A lot of Keanu's over here. Excess of Keanu's. Hello. Where? There's a little tiny Freddy Mercury. Tiny <laughs> That's fucking adorable. <laughs> it's the best cosplay. Yeah, it's the best cosplay. It's so good. Mm. Okay, we've been walking through the dealer's room for about four hours now. I think we've made it about halfway through. Because this is the biggest fucking room I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Copyright strike for this. Why? Why? Why would you want to do that? What? Peddling what you eat? It sounds awful. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Okay, so on Friday now, second day here. As you can see, we are dressed as a hilarious visual pun. Yes, I'm Robin. I'm, 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 I'm. I can't do the Christian Bale voice anymore because it would wreck my throat. We are an oddly dynamic. <laughs> I'm Bilal. I'm Vichwood. I'm Vichwood. I should be dead. Hello. 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 I'm Robin here. We're in the line for the Rick and Morty panel. It's about what, an hour and a half now? Yeah, that's about right, yeah. Including the board line games, so we're good. We did some board games. It's confusing because they can apparently wait in the ballroom for previous panels, so they have absolutely no idea what the capacity is going to be. Yeah, so like half this line could get in, all of it could get in, none of it could get in. Seems seems like a poor way of doing it. But... I guess like theoretically, if you have a panel you really want to attend to at the end of the day, you could just go to an early one. Yeah, but that means people by. who want to, actually wanted to go to the panels before yours don't get in. Yeah. And you sit for a panel you don't even like. Yeah. All right, guys. We got one more. We saved the best for last year. We're so excited to have a new show to show you tonight. Uh, this guy's been working with us for a long time at Cartoon Network Adult Swim. We could be more excited to uh, bring you the creator of Samurai Jack, Dexter's Laboratory. Gigi Tartakovsky. It's dark and scary. It's very dark and scary. So we just watched uh, the first episode of Primeval. Primeval. Primeval, I knew that. I was just testing it. New, new Gendy Tartakovsky show. Yeah, it's really good. Very, bit, very scary. A bit dark, yeah, a bit grim. A lot of blood. Yeah. yeah. But if you like dinosaurs... Um, you like, or you like, if you like the darker moments of Samurai Jack, you'll probably like this. Yeah. It's it's entirely without dialogue, which is impressive. It's, it's entire, very good. The entire thing's going to be like that episode of Bo Bojack Horseman with Under the Water. Mm. A little bit, a little bit of liking before. So we just watched uh, the panel for Solar Opposites, which is like, it's not a Rick and Morty, Morty spin-off, but it's like a... Um, it's like how the creators. people who did Simpsons did Futurama. There yeah. were some people who did the same, but it's not connected. Yeah. I mean, it's the same, it's got the, the, the voice actor for Rick and Morty doing most of the characters again. And, uh... 
the same art style as Rick and Morty. It's about two aliens that come to Earth and kind of like powerful fish out of water. It looks like it could be kind of funny. Could be funny, or could be could be another. What's the past um, thing that American Dad? No, no. The other, uh, Matt Groening tried to do something in the past. It was, uh, the Disenchanted? Disenchanted, yeah, it could be another Disenchanted. Okay. So, well, time will tell on that one, I guess. That's another vlog! Got out of the Box Burgers panel, that was awesome. Yes, it was very, very funny. Those guys were really funny. That was awesome, yeah. I'm glad we waited for that one. Yeah. Queued up for three hours to get into that room. Yeah, we were trying to get into the Rick and Morty panel. Did yeah. not. Did not. Like, when we were just waiting outside at the door like yeah. a cat, scratching to get in. Now uh, I know how my cats because we needed more guilt in regards to that. Sure, sure. It was uh, kind of like the gay pride aliens. <laughs> so many people. Yeah. My favourite thing is when they stop in the middle of the walkway. Yeah, that's super fun. I had to take off the uh, the Batman, Batman cowl because uh, I was missing things in the stalls because I had no peripheral vision. I don't know how Bruce Wayne does it. <laughs> I feel like with the whole, all, you know, there's, there's a range of characters in Star Wars, so the fact that they, the rooks are just standing up rebel guys, I feel lacks a certain amount of imagination. Yeah, could have been Lando. This seems super safe and not dangerously overcrowded. Why do they very very slow. Slow. So it's very slow. And bus. Well, we've got from this rock run, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it's, it's just as crap in the side of it, it's some of the expo rock. Yep, yep, yep. I shall call this art creepy patriotism. Oh, should have got one arm, that's fun. We found kitties, so we left the con. Say hi to the kitties. Oh, is it? I don't think they'd let them out. I mean, they can get out. I think it's just random kitties. Bye, kitties. We love you very much. Forever. So uh, we're out of the con at the moment. We're doing like a, an adventure zone thing for the Bim Bam people. Yay! So we are high as you can see my house from up here. Back in England. I was going to say, I just pointed to her there. Welcome to the Malibu Theatre! Tonight's Adventure Zone book party panel reading thing. <laughs> we'll begin after a few brief messages. Stitch fit. Kind of a mixed reaction to that. <laughs> Audio and video recording of tonight's performance is strictly prohibited. So for the last couple days, we've been agonizing over what to do with him. This is Gordon. <laughs> Gordon appeared in our pool at the, at the Airbnb the other night. Luckily, there is a San Diego designated turtle rescue um, association. I don't know. So Dom's in the front driving. So, and we are taking Gordon to a, a wonderful turtle farm <laughs> where he can frolic and play. He's going to, he's going to the farm. Yeah, I phrased I phrased that poorly intentionally as a joke, but now it sounds really sinister. No, this is th these are absolute like yeah, these are designated turtle rescue and volunteers. He's gonna be fine. Super clear, we are not killing the turtle. Yeah, we are not. No, we are we are doing we are doing a mitzvah. We're we're good we're good kids. <laughs> All right, here goes here goes Gordon. <laughs> oh God. 
He's surprisingly heavy. Oh, yep. Yeah. I got you. Sorry, Gordon. He's like, no, I don't want to go now. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back to the backyard. I want to go back to the pool. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> got a got a baby Trump over there. Bill Nedge needs to get his uh, guitar checked by security. Apparently, it could be a, a deadly guitar. Yeah, you've checked that blaster. Check it good. Don't want no Ewoks to die. So I had to ditch the Batman cosplay because because uh, my throat hurts too much to do the Christian Bale voice. I had nothing funny to respond with. When people were like, hey Batman, I'd be like, you know, like I have to respond in my normal voice, and then people were just like, oh shit, it's actually Alfred, and then I got upset. Zion something. This dealer's room is just so big. We've been coming here for three days now and we're still not through the whole thing. This is cray cray. Oh, I've lost my friends. Serenading said dragon uh, manages to fall Genre confusing. Each program on to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon. Good troll. I know it's my test. And and scene. Okay. <laughs> All black. Uh, might have been a mistake. A bit warm. You know, I would have said something, but that's almost your entire work. Yeah. <laughs> These are like ones you would see in um, like a uh, uh, Six Flags. Like a I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, me too. Superman is upsetting me. Star Trek needs to learn from, from Marvel when it comes to the aging, <laughs> that shit is ugly. Yeah, it's a stargazer. There he is. My man, John Luke. I think this is the uniform that was giving everyone like severe crotch pain. Something. The Galaxy class is cool, but I'm definitely a fan of the Sovereign. Yeah, no, she, she found it. <laughs> nah, this is this this was the popular uniform, I think. The shark. Okay, Sunday, final day. Yay! I'm in cosplay again. You're in cosplay. Well done. I'm not. I'm not either, because I'm old and boring. But uh, we we'll have to do some Detective Pikachu stuff if we can. Yeah. Went into the line yesterday. It was like 47 light years long. So hoping it's less. An umbrella so. and some water and some fun. So yeah, we. Uh, Came more prepared this time. It's like a cool extra con park thing going on outside, which I haven't been in yet. Yeah. It's got a big shark in it, apparently. Yeah, a giant unicorn. Ooh. Giant unicorn. As you do.
you are standing in a small cottage. There is a fishing pole here. Exit. Out. It's basically paper zork. Right. It is Pick a rose. Uh, player, uh, player now has a single red rose. Alright. I'll, I'll take a dump in the rose bushes. Um, the smell of rose petals is now conflicting with poop. Just it's funny now. It's funny now. Nearly, nearly a Pikachu. I mean, throughout the whole movie, I was We're trying to get some ears. ears. The only, yeah. only, you have to the only two favorites of show the the true of heart in Pokemon. The, the, the fighting <laughs> <sword>. <laughs> I'm so into this illusion. Oh man, I'm sure glad we got to see these these carts. <laughs> Oh yeah, pokey food carts. Definitely worth the hour and a half in the line. Oh look all the stones. Wow, these are much bigger than I expected. You gotta shove this up a Pikachu's ass to make him evolve? Damn. <laughs> Poor thing. Sun's on that stone. Yeah, that's more reasonable to see. A Pikachu could never defeat a mutual in battle. Oh, it's a it's a mirror maze. Is it? I don't think there was. No, no. I don't know which way is up and down anymore. Uh, I probably could have predicted that. I, I'm a bit uncomfortable with how many Pikachu's tails they've cut off for this. Slowpoke tails. Mm, delicious. Slowpoke tails from the Men's Slowpoke Brain Egg song we put out a couple years back. Um, it acknowledges that the tails are delicious. Like, I thought we were supposed to condemn this practice. Uh, I don't remember the mirror maze in the movie, is this a thing? Yeah, I don't think it was a thing. Uh, this might be uh, going through like a crazy... Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so many ill nedges. There's more than I'm usually comfortable with. Which one's the real nedge? Uh, yeah. Who's in here? Oh, okay, no, not that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I uh... I kind of love how disappointing this was. <laughs> how long we been in the line for this? We had fun. We saw some cool crimes. Yeah, so we're gonna get our cool ears. Yeah. yeah. Presumably. Oh, no, 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 the famous mirror maze of Detective Pikachu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, everyone's favorite scene where uh, he finds that woman who like speaks in sign language. That's John Wick too. By mistake. Uh, yeah. It's when uh. Very easy to confuse. I'm sorry. Uh, so which one gets you the ears? Yellow or blue? I think. Yeah. You don't need to talk to us for us to understand. Feel what you're saying. All right, other. You have to be open to the experience. Try it sometime. I didn't spin that. I'm sorry, can you speak up? I can't hear you. Finish it, Chan. I know how to play. Alright, last time in the dealer's room, Sunday. See all the stuff I missed. So I uh, just met Timothy Zahn, I uh, got him to sign one of my Star Wars books, and uh, I got a picture with him, with me doing the uh, Cobra Pinky Lasers. Which, uh, he asked, I think just to be polite, he asked about the bunny, the uh, Pikachu ears, and uh, I, tried, you know, so I told him a little bit about the, uh, the Pikachu uh, cityscape outside, and he was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, I was like, ooh, you just asked that. To, to make conversation, now I feel silly. Okay, well the whole place is closing in about an hour, so we're uh, doing one last walk through the dealer's room, see if there's anything, any last sort of last minute impulse buys. So uh, yeah, it's been a... Been a good couple of days. Had fun.
Something's happening over there. Nobody does it like Boba Fett. What up, Ben Affleck? Man, Batman is grumpy. What's up, buddy? What is going on over here? Hey, what's up, Jim? It's kind of weird that they have like a late artist, a late artist, and then just George Lucas. Like, kind of just. I guess they're just waiting for him to die. That's that's awkward. Um, I I don't think he was the hero of that movie. We got the eviction notice, so, oh uh, yeah, Comic Con 2019. I liked it. Hey, Wispy. Did you miss me, buddy? Hmm. You having fun there, Wisp? Wisp? You don't usually ignore us like this. Are you angry because we left you? Hey, Sir so Terry Pratchett, how you doing? No, 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 we didn't bring you back anything from the con, but uh, we'll give you some tuna or something. Much love and appreciation to my patrons of honour, Aaron G. Dunsill, Sasha I. Edwards, and Shelby Holtz.